Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. And for this special figure showcase, we're going to be looking at one of the first Autobots released, Prowl. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes. Then you can decide which way you want to display him. I'm going to show you the accessories that come with him. And I'm also going to point out things that you need to be aware of if you're looking to purchase one for yourself. And also I'm lucky enough to have two different types of packaging. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at the artwork on both of them and the battle scenes on the back. Okay, let's get started. So, as I've just said, he was one of the first Autobots released. He was actually released in 1984 as part of Series 1 of the first wave of Transformers that were released. Um, he's, again, very, very popular. He stands really, really well. He displays really well in both modes, I personally think, although there is minimal articulation in, in the actual figure himself. Before we look at the actual figure, I'll show you the weapons that come with him. So he's got the silver gun there that's prowls is that going to focus there we go that's prowls gun he's got three missiles like this i'm sorry this has got a glare on it if i can get it to show you in fact if i go all three my apologies it's quite late where i am so i'm trying to get them there you go so you can see there you can already tell as well before i need to tell you that the things you need to be aware of is the chrome on them and then of course you've got the launches you need to make sure that you've got a left and a right so you've got two different dowels. Where are we? There we go. See the little dowels on the sides? There they go. So they go into the side of his head. So you need to be aware of them straight away. Sorry that took so long. But that's the accessories that come with him. And prowls, you've got to make sure that you've got the silver ones. Because he is one of the Fair Lady cars. And a couple of other moulds used for other characters. They do use the same accessories. They just change the colours of everything. So that's the colours that you need to be aware of there. But here we go then, let's have a look at the actual figure. So, as I've just said, I think he looks amazing. I think he stands really well. There is very, very little you could actually do with him when you played him when you were a child. You've got the arms that move there at the shoulders and at where the bicep is, or the elbow shall we say. The legs don't do anything at all. You can slide them out backwards and forwards. But again, you know, 1984, it was just the fact that you could get a car that turned into a robot that made all the difference. When you're looking at him in this robot form, stickers you can tell are quite important. You've got some on the top of his um, upper arms, you've got the police stickers on the doors and of course all there at the bottom. Uh, his white paint, it, these are, it is a die cast part these white paints so they can get chipped, that's something to be aware of and of course it can unfortunately sometimes get sun faded. If I bring the car version up there you can see how the uh, the hood in the middle is a completely different colour. So you can see right there, sorry, that's it. And we'll come to the car in a minute. But yeah, there's the robot mode. Um, with this, it was very, very common and very popular, but not popular, very common for the back to break off. But if it was in robot mode, you could just about get away with that. You wouldn't be able to tell too much. And unfortunately, sometimes these doors did come, sorry, the back windows did come off as well. If you're obviously going to display it in car mode, that's not going to work at all. But there's the figure, as I say, he doesn't have the most articulation, he doesn't really do much at all, but he just looks so, so cool. So in the alternate mode, let's have a quick look. I've mentioned the sun fade already, and you can probably just make it out now, there's a bit here along the bottom, and I've already pointed out this part here. Luckily enough, this is all still intact. Um, there's chrome on the wheels and on the lights at the top, which you need to be aware of. The tyres are rubber as well, so of course they can perish away, be aware of that. Um, and again, I mentioned that the fact that this is his die cast, so just be aware that it is an all chipped away. But again, nice little alternate mode. Obviously, it's a police car, looks really good. Uh, very posh police car, again, with it being an Nissan Fair Lady. You can see that I've got quite loose joints here. It's not too much of an issue if you're keeping it in the car mode there because it'll just hold it in place. But there you go, you've got a choice there of how you want to display them. The only downside, I suppose, is if it is in this car mode, you've got nowhere at all to put any of the accessories. You'd have to keep them separate somewhere um, in a bag or wherever you want to keep them. Some people like to be able to put, attach all the accessories to the figures. You can do pretty much in robot mode, but obviously not in the alternate mode. Let's just slide these out of the way. And what we've got, first and foremost, is the original 1984 box. And let's just drag these out of the way. It's seen better days, unfortunately, but... There we go, so there's the lovely artwork of Prowl there. You can see my bubbles actually fell off inside. Luckily it's not a sealed box, but that's quite a common fault now with these bubbles, unfortunately. 
you've got the transformation process there at the top and then if I spin it round I mentioned 1984 a couple of times but that is the battle scene that you will see in most if not all of the 1984 released figures so you've got the very basic Optimus Prime, Starscream, Soundwave obviously there at the top, a couple of Ravages and Sunstreaker there so that's the official first battle scene on all the first release of the figures so what we've got now is a classic Heroes release if this starts to glare I'll grab another box that I've got just in case. So this was released in 1990, uh, European and Australian markets, and it's exactly the same figure. It's an actual Generation 1 release, 1990, so it was definitely inside the Generation 1 continuity, and they did these nice gold boxes. They also did these in different languages. This is the full English one. You can see all the language underneath says more, much more than meets the eye. And then underneath, it says include snap-on weapons and accessories in uh, the Spanish ones obviously it's in completely different languages and if we look at the back unfortunately although the front of the box looks lovely with the nice gold artwork you've got a very very basic MicroMaster um, battle station a uh, little battle zone going on there and that's what it was advertising again at the time so 1990 that's what we were playing with uh, for anybody who's interested or wants to know this is a AFA 80 and that was box 80, window 85 and figure 85. So that's a lovely piece to have on display. But again, I like the figure to be fair anyway to display. First, obviously when I started collecting, I just got him in robot mode. He displays really well in robot mode. And then as you can tell, my collection's gone a bit daft since then. And that's it. So you can decide how you want to display him there. He is a cool figure. He's very popular. He's constantly being reissued constantly down the generations line uh, combiner wars he had one um, again all the way down the generations line keep your eye out for him they're constantly making him i hope this brought back some nice memories for the people who had him when he was a kid um, i hope it was educational for the people who haven't seen him um, sorry if there's anything i missed out but i'm pretty sure i covered all bases with that i uh, didn't go into too much detail on the diaclone i'm just talking about the transformers so that's why i didn't say anything there but there you go i hope you enjoyed this hope fans of prowl liked it as well and for everybody else who's watched this, thank you very much and take care.